What is going on guys, Cancer Game here and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In today's video I'm going to be showcasing everything that was added in the latest patch 226. Guys if you came here looking for the new OV Raptor, I actually did a video on that yesterday which was before this. I will link an annotation on the screen to it now if you wish to go and see it. Okay guys, so first up is the new ghillie suit. This thing is heat resistant and reduces enemy AI dinos visibility range by 50%. And it, it makes you look absolutely godlike as well. Look at this. Look at this bandit face. Yeah. This thing is awesome. So I've spawned in a car now down here. And I'm going to test um, if this actually works. If it actually does uh, stop them seeing you at closer ranges. So I've currently got players only on. Which does mean they are paused. So I'll jump down here. Hopefully I won't die. Uh, yeah, I've got God enabled. So there's the Kano there, I'm just going to quickly unpause him, and then crawl across the floor. I want to see, well first I'm going to crouch, because I think it depends which stance you're in, how much each one does. So I'm just going to crouch and see how close I can get to him. He hasn't noticed me yet, so this is a good sign, because their aggro range is quite large. If you haven't got any, oh don't aggro on the trike. Don't you dare aggro on that trike. Ah, oh, come on, man. No, don't aggro on the trike. What are you doing? Yes, the trike's dying. Okay, so I'm going to crawl in the grass here because the trike's about to die. I want to see if he spots me. Let's see how close he can get. Ah, oh, he's just having a nice little munch on that. So he hasn't noticed me yet. But stay still. Oh, he still hasn't noticed me. Look how close I am. Oh, yeah, so guys, you can see that the ghillie suit armor actually does work. Look how close I am to this Kano right now. The second I stand up, he will attack me. But I don't want to... Oh, look how close I am. That is awesome. So if I go into crouch, which I don't really want to do. I can see I can right next to this guy. Oh, and I stood up and he, he spotted me. So <laughs> I need to get out of here. Let me alone! Good job, I came prepared. Ha <laughs> ha. So guys, as you can see from that little dem demonstration there, that the ghillie suit armor is actually really good, and I'd say it's worth um, putting the resources into. So for those of you who don't know the price, I've actually got them noted down. So this thing actually uses organic polymer. Now, a lot of things don't even use the organic polymer. I know it does replace normal polymer in a lot of things, but there's not an actual recipe where it just requires, like, organic polymer is the actual priority rather than it being normal polymer. So, I got the prices for you now. This thing, for the full suit of ghillie suit armor, it does require 26 organic polymer, which you can get from the penguins in the snow biome, for those of you who do not know what it is or how to get it. It requires 18 fiber and 40 hide. That is to be able to build the entire suit. Um, they provide 40 armor each, which isn't too bad. And they, it does resist you um, from heat, which is totally worth it in my opinion. Okay guys, so up next is the new two new structures. That is the industrial cooking pot and the bunk bed. So first up is the uh, industrial cooking pot. This thing uh, is pretty much the exact same as the default cooking pot right there. However, it uses just gasoline as a fuel source. It will not accept thatch wood as fuel. Uh, regarding spark powder, I don't think it'll accept that either as fuel. But obviously, it'll allow it in here if you are creating dyes. Now, this thing does have a lot more slots compared to the old one. Which is what pe a lot of people were voting for on the Reddit forums and all the forums actually. They actually wanted this. Uh, wanted a new cooking pot with better slots. However, this thing is very expensive and it is unlocked at end game tier. So this thing costs a staggering 300 polymer, 1,800 metal ingots and 450 cementing paste along with 300 oil now that is quite expensive for a cooking pot with more slots and just uses a higher valued fuel source 
Well, no, the good thing about it, it does have a lot of HP. So, you know, if you want to build your base out of cooking pots, I'd strongly advise you to do that, because there's 13,000 HP, and they're quite strong. Okay, guys, so up next is the new bunk bed. This is pretty dope, because it's exactly the same as normal beds. Well, not exactly the same, because you can see the, you can clearly see the difference there. But it works the same as the normal bed. However, there's two of them. So with the normal bed, once you spawn on it, if you die like within a certain time after spawning on it, you can no longer respawn on it after like 15 minutes or so. With this, you can respawn on it twice and have two tribe members spawn on it at once. Also, the respawn delay has been reduced, been cut in half actually. So where, do it, where it would take um, 10 minutes for the normal bed, you to respawn, this one will take 5 or however long the timer is, I'm not too sure. <laughs> So, for the, those of you guys who want to know the prices for this new bed, as well, it's a lot, it's a lot more expensive than the default bed. Put it that way, it's probably cheaper to, well, yeah, if it, it's going to be a lot cheaper for you to just spam out the low-level beds and put them everywhere, although you don't get the half-time respawn. This thing does cost 80 polymer, 200 pelt. 320 metal ingots, 280 fiber, and 120 hide. Now, that isn't too bad, considering you get half the, uh, the respawn time is cut in half, and you can respawn in it twice before the timer actually takes place. Okay, guys, so I did just forget to mention that they've also added a new table into the game. Now, by the looks of this thing, the uses are endless. Just look at it. You can now make a raft out of this, you can go bobsleighing down the mountains, you can build your house out of this. <laughs> it's pretty much useless. You can put your chair next to it, sit at your chair, and sit at the table like a very civilised being. Although, this is Ark we're talking about, we are tribal warriors, and none of us here are civilised. So, we'll end up just throwing us around, it will be pretty useless to us. There you go guys, new table does cost 100 wood and 12 raw metal for those of you interested okay guys so last up i need to quickly announce that they have changed a few things to the base game and some of the latest patches so first up is the rocket launcher changes they have in fact doubled rocket launcher damage globally when they say globally, I'm pretty sure that means on everything, structures including dinos. However, it does specifically mention dinos there, so I'm not sure if structures are counted or not. You guys will have to put it to the test, but I'd imagine they were. Okay guys, so next up is the industrial forge changes. They've in fact changed how much metal this smelts per rotation. Previously, it was 15 metal ingots per 20 seconds. Now they've upped it to 20 metal ingots per 20 seconds. That is one metal ingot per second. That is pretty good considering it's a very expensive piece of kit and it is an end game uh, piece of machinery. Although I'm nowhere near going to end up getting one as I don't really play survival series anymore. Due to me being raided so much I mainly stick to single player now. I just The only time I play this game is to do videos for you guys. I do have the odd day or two on it during the week but... Overall, I'm not going to be end up getting the Industrial Forge, so that doesn't really help me at all. Okay guys, so up next is bug fixes. Everybody loves some good bug fixes. So guys, to, to, to those of you who suffer from crashing with exploding rockets, they have now fixed that. They have quoted a fixed potential case where players could be disconnected due to exploding rocket launcher projectiles. So to those of you who suffered with that, uh, me, myself, I never really suffered with anything to do with explosives on the game. Due to me not actually ever using an explosive apart from being on single player. My tribe is far too easy to be raided on multiplayer servers that I don't actually get to the stage of making rocket launchers or C4. Mods are now only installed and extracted while at the main menu due to avoiding lower in-game performance. This is very well done by the devs as previously when installing mods it would do it whilst you're on a server or single player and it would lower your overall performance giving you a worse off experience of the game. 
Another bug fix coming up is the client crash associated with the clicking on the chieftain hat in the blueprint in the smithy. God, that took a while to say. So guys, um, when you were crafting the chieftain hat with the little Thanksgiving turkey update that they added into the game, um, it was a lot of crashes regarding clicking on it to craft it in the smithy. I never actually crafted one myself. I didn't even bother collecting the wishbones because, in my opinion, it just wasn't worth it. I didn't put enough hours into the game anyway to benefit from it. And if I did do it on an online server, I would have probably just got killed and had it stolen off me within minutes. They've also implemented a garbage collector type of feature. This isn't anything added, any feature into the game. This is something within the code of the game in order to prevent further stalls and hitches whilst playing. This is very beneficial to most of us here as you won't get those jitters anymore in the games. It does reduce, it does um, delete unused files, unused parts of the games that just sit there ticking over for no reason. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I've covered everything that patch 226 has added. And I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you wish to see more content like this, then why not click subscribe? And guys, I just want to thank you all for all the support, all the comments, all the likes and all the shares on all my previous videos. I really, really do appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. Guys, I'll see you all in the next video.